black greater than post there possible. I cut a sucker in small chunks, play more rhymes than Michael Jordan makes slams. Let's go. Lucas Nation fans, it's Kennedy Lucas here. Um, welcome to another exciting Lucas Chat podcast. Of course, we are starting uh, this website out for uh, this show off for the newest website at www.lucasnano4.wix.com slash live. So that is our new website that we're doing, of course, to kick up this podcast. This is our second show on YouTube at Kennedy Lucas. Now, we are doing uh, this podcast. I hope you guys did catch the podcast of Sonic Lost Worlds, uh, and we talk about Sega in that podcast. But now we're starting off a new podcast for movies. Now, a lot of people were saying, uh, and a lot of people are gearing up for this, and by the time you're viewing this podcast, it will sort of be out uh, maybe today or tomorrow. Tomorrow is uh, President's Day, so we did pass Valentine's Day, and I thought this movie would be appropriate because of Valentine's Day. Now, for all of you guys, I am going to be straight honest with you guys. I'm going to shoot it straight for it with you guys. So if you guys are, if, if you're part of the Lucas Nation and you're a young, uh, very, very young uh viewer please do not watch this podcast because we are going to talk about some uh strongly content that you may not be able to handle now valentine's day did pass so we're going to talk about 50 shades of gray of course we're going to just talk about it we're going to give a review you know kind of like what we what kind of almost what we do on the weekend vlog but a little bit different now 50 shades of gray of course is a novel by uh e.l james uh that's the author of the book so you know, a lot of people can see, you know, the book. Uh, it is uh, first installment for the Fifty Shades uh, trilogy. So it is, I believe they are going to make more movies for Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't know if they're going to name it Fifty Shades of Grey 2 or 3 or Fifty Shades of something else or Fifty Shades of Red, Fifty Shades of Black. You know, I don't know about that. But, um, but uh, I am on, and I get my information, of course, from different reviewers and different websites and stuff, so I don't really worry about copyright, because it's just, I can say anything. I, freedom of speech, is what I say. Now, Fifty Shades of Grey, uh, of course, is, uh, is a 2011 ironic no a romance novel, of course, again, by E.L. Uh, e. James. Uh, first installment for the Fifty Shades trilogy that... Uh, traces uh, deepening relationships between college graduates, uh, of course, Anastasia Steele, and a young business uh, uh, young businessman, Christian Grey. Of course, hence the, the name Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, of course, I didn't really see, and I'm just getting, you know, these reviews, of course, from different websites and stuff, because uh, <laughs> this is not a movie that you want to see with your family and friends. This is a movie you want to kind of see by yourself, and you kind of see it, and now a lot of people were saying that this movie is basically porn. Now, I don't believe that because, yes, there is sex in the movie. Now, a lot of people were saying that there's too much sex in the movie, but isn't Fifty Shades of Grey kind of a, a book kind of like that? So they're just kind of based off with their, um, with, you know, with the book. Now, I did see a review yesterday uh, here at KOPC. I did see a review saying that one girl would like to see Robert Pattinson to play Christian Gay, uh, Christian Grey's character. Um, I don't really... Uh, would recommend that too because you want to get all these new actors out there that's trying to live the dream of acting. Uh, again, he seems like a very good uh, good actor. You know, I, again, I haven't seen the movie yet. I'm thinking about seeing the movie, but you know, I, I don't know yet. Um, so I, I would like to see kind of the different actor. I don't like to see the same old actors in different movies. I like to see different actors, in my opinion. 
uh, of course, uh, the book, of course, was published again in 2011, it was June 20th, that's actually my brother's birthday, so, um, that's the year it was, it was published, um, it did say here on this, on this site here, it did say, uh, and I, I joked around about the trilogy, but it says here that they have a second and third volume, which is the second book and the third book, uh, Fifty Shades Darker and Fifty Shades Fred, Freed, I think, um, were published in 2012 so I do believe within time with their movies they're gonna develop more movies like that um, of course the movie was released uh, February 13th 2015 of course it was what Friday this past Friday from Universal Pictures and Focus uh, Focus Features um, so yeah and a lot of people were saying you know again it's too much sex it's just kind of and it kind of looks like a love scene now I really won't really read you guys the plot uh, of this movie because it's a long uh, it's a long plot you have to go see the movie because I don't want to give out you know spoilers and stuff that's not what I do but I am going to show you I am going to read these um, these reviews now and I again I get my information from you know different uh, different styles and different websites um, again, I just, I think it's a love movie. I think it's appropriate for, I, I think sex is, you know, for the movie, it's normal, it's natural, everybody, well, not everybody, but, I mean, everybody, you know, has sex. I mean, you gotta look at, and what sucks is, Addicted, uh, the novel by, the novel by Zane, they didn't get bad reviews, but, why did, uh, Anastasia, Christian. Uh, and it's just playing the, uh, the theme here. Um, again, I don't... I, you look at Addicted. Addicted didn't get any any form of reviews. And that's what a lot of people kind of... Kind of... Um, kind of... Kind of compared the two movies. Addicted and Fifty Shades of Grey. Now, I did see on this site here it says Fifty Shades... Fifty Shades is posting a $81.7 million weekend. Now, if you want to compare it... Uh, Kingsman uh, with a uh, with strong with uh, 35 million dollars in sales with their with their their box office, so they're making that money. I think eight, 81.7 million that's a lot of money to me. Um, I don't see them. They may have some bad reviews of the movie, but you gotta look here. They're making that money, so I, there's just a lot of hate within within that movie. Uh, and I'll read you a, a small plot here. They have small plots, so I'll read that to you guys. It says here, and let me zoom in just a little bit. You know, us Max users, they have that zoom in capability. It says, uh, literature study, uh, literature study, literature student Anastasia Steele goes to interview young uh, entrepreneur Christian Gray. She encounters a man who is beautiful, brilliant, and intimidating. The unworldly, innocent Anna, short for Anastasia, is startling to realize she wants this man, and despite his enigmatic reserve, finds she is dis uh, desperate to get close to him. Unable to resist uh, Anna's quiet, quiet uh, beauty with an independent spirit, Gray amends he wants her to, but on his own terms. It says here, uh, shock yet thrilled by Gray's singular uh, erotic taste, Anna intimidates for all the trapping of success. His uh, multinational businesses, his vast wealth, his love and family, Gray is a man tormented by, well, I don't agree with this part, is tormented by demons and consumed by the need of control. Uh, when the couple embarks on a daring, passionate, uh, physical affair, Anna discovers Christian Grey's secret and explores her own dark desires. So again, a lot of people can say, again, it kind of reminds you almost like Addicted. Of course, Within the movie, and this is for if you're if you're a young Lucas Nation, please don't listen to to this yet. But yes, in the movie there will be a gray strap Anna up and do some some naughty things to her. 
But again, that's the base of the book and based on the movie. Now, do I think that this movie is Oscar, uh, Oscar, uh, type? Uh, I'm not really too sure because you look at it, I think when you're based on a book, it's good to make a movie based off a book, but my word is, it's an early book, like it was published 2011. You look at these movies now, like The Great Gatsby, that, that movie, that book was published in what, 1880-something, and it, they made a movie in 2000, what, 12, 13? And that was Oscar nominated. I agree with that movie being Oscar nominated because it's based off a book for a long time ago. But you look at Fifty Shades of Grey, published in 2011, 2012, not yet. Not yet. Now, if this book was based back on, like, early 1800s and 1900s, yeah, I would say, yeah, this book is, you know, why not take this to the Oscars? But I don't think it's Oscar ready yet being that it's an early book um, per se once again they are doing a second book and the third book uh, that's coming up uh, within this now I did try to see if um, we could get trailers in so uh, hopefully we can get trailers into this into the into the movie uh, into this uh, podcast here um, so again like I just don't I, I don't see a lot of people I don't see why people will say that this book, you know, has its bad reviews. Now, we are going to, we are going to go through these, uh, to, through these, uh, websites and, websites here. Now, hold on. Now, I do want to, um, of course, I do want to read the good with uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Now, I am basing these off of uh, other people. I already said what I believed in into the movie. Now, I am going to refer back to the people and the uh, magazine cover that they're in. Again, I have freedom of speech, so I you know, can say. Now, Scott uh, Muddleson from Forbes says, and let me zoom in on this. It says, Fifty Shades of Grey is exactly what promises. Uh, Okay, sorry guys. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey is exactly what it promises and little more. Uh, it says here, Johnson is pretty terrified while Dornan does not does what he can with the material he is given. And they do make a somewhat entertaining couple. The film is a explicit, of course it is explicit guys, an unapologetic uh, female is cat is captus? Uh, fantasy in a time when such things are few and far between in Hollywood. Uh, Sam Taylor jo uh, Johnson has crafted a gorgeous looking motion picture that must be the director. A uh, motion picture that looks rad without necessarily calling attention to itself. Again, if you want to be a good director, you know, you have to make moves like that. Now we are going back here for the bad, and I like to read the good and bad with, with uh, credits here. Um, now Raphael Guzman uh, from Newsday uh, magazine says, of course this is the bad, the blame begins with James Artless with less source material, which began its literature life as a work of Twilight fan fiction. Uh, that explains the story's northwest setting, Seattle, and the meddling, meddling way of its adult characters behave like doby teenagers. Great, a vigorously divine business, divine businessman is a is an uncom. Businessman, aristocrat, and high school hawk. Wow, Anastasia still, of course, Anastasia still the, the late the girl is another Bella Swain from the Twilight series. Um, through with even bigger daddy issues. Now, that's a harsh review. So, once again, guys, and you guys can comment if you're watching this via YouTube. You can uh, you can comment on the on the podcast below. Again, I don't think 
this movie is that bad. Again, I can't really say as much because I didn't see much of the movie, but do I think it's, it's crazy? No, I think it's a love story. I think it's like every love story in a movie. Do I think it has a lot of sex? It might have. It might have a lot of sex. Again, this is not the movie, guys, you want to go see with your parents or with your friends, maybe even with your boyfriend or girlfriend. You want to see this by yourself. You want to experience this by yourself. And I actually do, and I say it, and I'll say it loud and proud. You know, I actually do want to watch this movie because I haven't read the book. I would like to know the story. And, you know, as a film director, future film director, uh, of course, going to full sale, film, future film director, I will want to explore this movie and see what it has to offer. Now, that pretty much wraps up my podcast for this uh for the, this movie portion but of course guys 50 shades of gray is not playing in theaters uh it's now playing so you guys can go see it watch it enjoy it and then you can write your own review as of right now i'm kennedy lucas logging out